Kansas Insurance Commissioner Vicki Schmidt says she hopes to use her breast cancer journey to support others. An exclusive interview with 13 News, she spoke for the first time about her diagnosis, the lessons learned personally and professionally. I am very thankful to be on this side of, of the journey, and I'm really doing well. Kansas Insurance Commissioner Vicki Schmidt never expected a routine mammogram in April would lead to the message she found in her my chart the Friday before Memorial Day. It said uh, you have uh, you have cancer. Where were you and who was with you? Reading it? Right in this office. But when you actually read that email, and your you're in your stops. office by yourself, yeah, yeah, your heart kind of stops, and you think, I don't know, you think about a lot of things, but um, in a short amount of time. But then it was like, okay, now I have to do whatever they tell me I need to do and get treatment and just take care of it. It's a pretty humbling experience, I'd say. What did you find most humbling about it? Well, just the fact that that you have cancer um, kind of knocks you down a few a few things and and uh, but honestly, um, the support of the people here in Kansas and beyond as a public figure, I did not want the gossip to be going around. Um, I figured that I need I wanted to control the message. It was a tough decision to go public with it though. I mean that's really makes you made me very vulnerable. Honestly, it was the best thing I've ever done because I know a couple of people that had mammograms done after and uh, two of them uh, were diagnosed with breast cancer. So, you know, I, I don't doubt that, that it was the right thing to do. I had a good, good support group from work, um, from my family, um, and I had health insurance. You're the state's insurance commissioner. What did you learn about insurance that you didn't realize before? I'd say some of the, uh, some of the processes are, are a little hard to understand as a consumer. You're, you're busy enough trying to make sure you're doing okay. I hope that insurance companies and, and providers work together so that the patient isn't burdened, over, overly burdened um, by worrying about um, how to interpret some of the things that are billed for and, and how that happens. Will it change or reinforce some of the priorities you have in this office now? Oh, I think we might have some conversations with with uh, um, both providers and insurance companies, uh, um, and just you know, uh, like observations from us. I mean, can't mandate that they change. What did you learn about yourself personally through this journey? <laughs> that I'm not a very good person to follow rules uh, when it's about self care. Um, uh, I thought I'll just breeze right through this. You know, this isn't going to affect me, and and it does. It's just part of me now, and uh, I want to be as supportive as I can to anyone that's going through this journey um, and, to, um, and to just encourage people, get the mammogram. I mean, it saves lives. There's no doubt about it. Preventative care is, is worth it. Commissioner Schmidt finished treatment at University of Kansas Cancer Center last month. She says she is now cancer free. By the way, if you can't afford a mammogram in Shawnee and surrounding counties, contact the Race Against Breast Cancer. They can help rabctopeka.org. And our full interview with Commissioner Schmidt is on WIBW.com. Appreciate her sharing her mm -hmm. journey. Obviously, a lot of folks' lives touched by cancer, that's for sure. The state's